trial in Atlanta, Georgia for Trump. Blacks for Trump. Black conservatives. And she let Kamala Harris have it. She said, since Kamala Harris cares so much about the black home, about the black community, can we ask Mrs. Willie Brown what she thinks about Kamala Harris, a black woman? Now, mind you, Willie Brown is the one who is supposed to have kickstarted Kamala's whole political career, and she's alleged to have been having an affair with him while he was still married. So she got on this campaign trail and said this on live TV that the black people need to ask Mrs. Willie Brown how she feel about Miss Kamala Harris. You all came out to see me. So <laughs> my name is Michaela Montgomery. A lot of you guys know me as the girl from Chick-fil-A, but I am so much more than that. <laughs> Not do I serve as the CEO of Conserve the Culture? I am also the state director for Blexit down here in Georgia. I'm a Fulton County coordinator for America First Works, and I'm also launching a podcast on the Patriots Prayer Network. So put some respect on my name. Now, why don't we jump right into it? See, as a young single mother, I can tell y'all that rent is too damn high. I, I can tell you that as a young black voter, groceries are too damn high. And as an American citizen, period, seniors like my parents should never have to choose between medicine or food. It should never be the quality of life versus the quantity of life. And I don't want to hear, oh, but we capped the price of insulin and lowered the price of all these medicines. Yeah, but you raised the price of everything else, so it's about time to start telling the truth to Americans and let them know exactly what they're signing up for if they want to vote for Kamala Harris. We need to vote based on facts and not feelings. See, under Harris and Biden, the average Georgia household is losing $1,060 per month, and inflation is at 21.4%. And due to the war on energy, average gas prices have reached record highs for the state. We also did a poll, and 80% of us black Americans are not happy with the current state of the economy, so I'm going to need 80% of y'all to vote accordingly in November. They love me, they love me, they really love me. The left wants you to get in your feelings about things that have been said, but I want you guys to pay attention to what has been done. They don't want to talk policy. They just want to use propaganda to steal your vote. The left is trying to tout this woman as a savior for the black community, but all she's done is hurt the black community since she came into the game. See, the first step in destroying the black community is to dismantle the black family. So aside from her record as a prosecutor, why don't we ask Mrs. Willie Brown if Kamala Harris cares about black families? I wonder if Mrs. Willie Brown, a black woman, is also with her. A few days ago, President Trump said he didn't know Vice President Harris was a black woman. I'm trying to figure out what all the outrage is about because she's only black when it's time to get elected. <laughs> Did I lie? The same black people who are mad at Trump for being confused about her race, ethnicity, nationality, whatever, are seemingly forgetting that while you're touting her as a savior for black people, she identifies as an Asian woman. She chose her side and it wasn't ours. When asked if she would ever do anything specifically for black people, she said no. Whereas Trump gave us the platinum plan, <laughs> which specifically uplifted the black community by increasing capital by almost $500 billion, creating 500,000 new black businesses, and would give black churches the ability to fight for federal resources for their communities. And why are we acting like strong borders aren't a thing literally everywhere else in the world? Since when has being patriotic been a crime? See, a few weeks ago at the debate, Trump mentioned black jobs. And a lot of people got in an uproar as if they didn't know what he meant. Well, we go to the polls and cast our black vote. 
We go to the stores and spend our black dollar. We live in our black community, but for whatever reason, we draw the line at a black job. Oh, but wait, because if you're wondering what a black job is, please, I encourage you all to drive through Atlanta at all these beautiful black-owned businesses and check and see who works there. Probably a black person working for a black entrepreneur, recycling the black dollar, creating black generational wealth. If they come here illegally and they're taking your jobs and your resources, then please believe my cousins in the Appalachians, they're coming for you too. And y'all know Kamala Harris has yet to say Lake and Riley's name. As borders are, she opened the border to millions of illegal immigrants that have flooded American streets with deadly drugs and gangs that have spiked overdoses by over 124 percent and brought more crime into commu uh, excuse me, minority communities. So how's that for black folks? But let's take race out of it. Just as a woman, period, how can you be a champion for women's rights when you're taking away opportunities from biological women and giving them to transgendered ones? And done. See, how can you promote equity for women and you're allowing men to play in women's sports? And what kind of feminists would still allow men to enter their sacred spaces, i.e. our bathrooms and school locker rooms? Do I even need to mention the opening ceremony at the Olympics? Angela Carini was forced to fight a man and told us that she's never been punched so hard in her life. We cannot allow dangerous liberals who think things like this are okay into the White House, because my daughter will not be fighting a man at her wrestling match. <laughs> and what I think both men and women can agree on is that national security is important. So who would y'all rather see lead us into war if it were so to happen? My silk press sister Kamala or the big dog Donald Trump? <laughs> and lastly, I cannot get up here without mentioning my farmers, the backbone of this country. And aside from the Biden-Harris administration hurting you guys in ways we can't even comprehend by the rising cry, uh, cost of everything, black farmers said it with the Inflation Reduction Act signed in 2022. Now don't let the Biden-Harris administration fool you because they waited until the ninth hour to, dis uh, to sign off on disbursements as a last minute attempt to garner support. But why would they hurt the agricultural industry? Probably because they're looking forward to making more money in the pharmaceutical one. And speaking of pharmaceuticals, because I promise I'm going to wrap this up, when they bring up abortion and they talk about protecting your medical freedoms, don't be afraid to mention COVID. The Biden-Harris administration forced Americans to take an experimental vaccine and took away their jobs, their livelihoods, and their freedoms if they refused. Trump gave us a choice and Biden gave us a mandate. 